This is my video demonstration to go through how my code works for this project. I've taken a very basic blockchain implementation written in Go and introduced concurrency to it by using Go routines. Basically in this implementation there are three side chains, A, B, and C, and one main chain where the other three chains are periodically set up. Each of chain A, B, and C only process transactions from either accounts A, B, or C. Only process sent transactions. After two rounds of transactions being sent, the final account balances are settled on the main chain. In this implementation, no account can spend more than they have because transactions they send are only being handled by one chain. If we run through this program, at the end we see that the side chains are correctly appended on the main chain and the final account values will always be the same no matter how many times this program is run. As we can see, this program begins by sending some transactions. The blockchains do work to find a valid hash for a block. A valid hash is determined by the level of difficulty or the number of zeros at the beginning of the hash, which in this program is just sent to one, set to one. There are one second delays being added to allow us to view the output. We can see now at the end here that the final values in each side chain right here, the final values in each side chain and the correct values appended and settled at the end on the main chain. If we scroll up, we can see the blocks that are stored on each chain as well. Here we have side chain A, block 0, 1, 2, side chain B, and the blocks on the main chain. Thank you.